All the screws you see here are made of similar steel, have similar heads, uh, similar tip. They all have ACQ, corrosion resistant coating, and they all have some kind of certification to make them compliant with the building code. This is the part of the screw that is going to have the more impact. What we're going to do today is going to demonstrate that to you. The SDR has a thread that is specific to dimensional lumber, meaning that you have thread only in the last part of the assembly. A regular screw tend to have two-thirds of its length that has thread. You will see in the next demonstration the impact it will have. On this side, you have the two-third thread screw, and here you see that the assembly is not as strong as this one, which is completely set. This phenomenon has nothing to do with the quality of the screw or the way it was installed. It's simply the configuration of the thread. The two-third thread here plays against what we want to do. So the idea is to adapt the type of screw you select to the, your project. If your project is to assemble a bunch of pieces of wood together, then you would like to have a screw that is more like an assembly screw with less thread. If, on the other hand, you have a project that is already built and you want to uh, give it more strength, then you should use a screw with more thread on it. So as you can see, this SDR can open up all sorts of possibilities for the handyman, including lamination like what we just did. <laughs> 